do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter gene its nature expression and regulation in that we are studying topic packaging of dna dna is such a big molecule that you can take a round of earth with your dna molecule so how such small dna is packed inside your cell today we'll be studying about that packaging of dna how dna is packed inside cell today we'll be dealing about that we all know that dna is a genetic material and without dna human beings have no existence or you can say nothing can happen inside your body without dna that's the master control the length of the dna is so much that with all your dna in your body if i take and if i make a rope out of it or a thread like material out of it i can take a round of earth such big is your dna so how is it possible that dna which is such big in size and such amount in size is packed inside a tiny cell which is just nanometers in size it is by the phenomena by which dna is packed now during the packaging of dna what is taken care is that dna is negatively charged we all know now, this negative charge of dna is basically due to its phosphate backbone or you can say the hcpo4 minus backbone now to just to nullify that negative charge of the dna or to counterbalance the negative charge of the dna and to pack it properly inside cell your nucleus or cell produce a protein and this proteins are nothing but histone proteins now if you imagine a thread and you take a round cardboard like thing and when you wrap that cardboard like thing around your thread that is how dna is packed so for dna packing dna is wrapped around or you can say tied around through histone proteins and when that is done the structure which comes after the packaging with the help of histone proteins are called as nucleosomes now when dna is further packed by forming number of nucleosomes that is when you do series of packing of dna on histone proteins and you form large number of nucleosomes all together then when number of nucleosomes come together they form your chromatin fiber and then finally chromatin fibers lead to the formation of your condensed chromosome which is seen inside your cell so in simple theory i can say that that if i pull one of your chromosomes very rapidly very elongately what i will get is your dna so we can be saying that that dna is basically nothing but condensed form of your chromosome packaging of dna dna is negatively charged due to its phosphate backbone and to counteract the negative charge of phosphate backbone histone proteins are formed inside the cell dna is now wrapped around histone proteins and when this series or number of wrappings around dna of histones is done then it forms nucleosomes when large number of nucleosomes are formed 
Further, by packaging of nucleosomes, a series of chromatin fibers are formed. And this series of chromatin fibers basically condense to form your chromosomes. And we all know that 46 chromosomes are present inside a cell. Inside this diagram of DNA packaging, what we can say that how DNA is packed around histone proteins. Now, when you remove or you can elongate a chromosome structure, what you get is nothing but your DNA. Now, your DNA molecule your DNA is obtained from the chromosome. When you just stretch apart your chromosomes, what you get is your DNA molecule. And this DNA molecule is rolled around nucleosomes, which are nothing but histone octomer. So, these are histone proteins. And when DNA is continuously rolled around histone proteins, what we get is a nucleus monomer or you can say a dimer of histone proteins which are termed as nucleosomes. When number of nucleosomes come together you get your final stretch of DNA which is wrapped around. In this way a DNA is wrapped around to form a chromosome. So when you just take a part of chromosome this is how DNA packaging is basically done. So this is your DNA which is just wrapped to make your chromosomes by wrapping around your nucleosomes and then your histone proteins in serial order. Your DNA basically will have three segments if you just remove a stretch of DNA. The two stretches will be exons and one stretch will be intron. Now, when I talk about the intron region, there is splicing done now. When I say splicing, it means cutting down to remove the material which is required for the polypeptide or protein synthesis and just to remove out those segments which were not required for the protein synthesis or polypeptide sequence. Students, in this part of the chapter, what we studied was about how DNA is wrapped around first your histone proteins and then around your nucleosomes and how they are packaged inside a cell. I hope you all are clear about this concept. Thank you.